please raise your hand if you ever experience or know someone that experienced the following. You have sat in your car for a while, or at a dinner, or watched TV, and when you got up to take water out of the refrigerator, all of a sudden, the first couple of steps you feel mechanically blocked with pain radiating into your hip or down into your knee. Pretty much 100% success rate. That's what mechanical pain is. I'm Dr. Yoav Suprun, and I'm a spine specialist. I would like for you to think of two letters as they pertain to your spine. I'm now holding my spine in the letter S. The vertebrae in my spine are in the letter S. S, think of S for safety. And now I'm in the letter C. Think of C for catastrophe. <laughs> S for safety, C for catastrophe. If we hang too long in this letter C, what we end up seeing people as they age, they get stuck in this position. We bend forward multiple times during the day. That's because our eyes are here. If I had eyes back here, I would chop a salad this way, but I don't. So we bend forward multiple times a day, and then we sit, relax, and we slouch. And over a period of time, our spine starts to change and age in this direction. But each and every one of you could reach your 80s and 90s with an elegant upright posture, if you know the trick. Now, thousands of years ago, as hunters and gatherers, we collected fruits, vegetables, water. We moved around all day. Where are we in today's world? We're sitting for a prolonged period of time in this position, and we're starting to develop those orthopedic aches and pain. Pains that are radiating down the hips, down the knee, from the shoulder to the elbow, numbness, tingling. An incredible study recently published in the Journal of Manual and Manipulative Therapy by a group of international researchers have found a direct link between the spine and orthopedic aches and pains. Two of the numbers I'll share with you are staggering. 71% of hip pain is not your hip. It's your lower back causing you to feel pain that radiates into the hip. 47% of shoulder pain is not your shoulder. It's your neck. I myself, for months, had left shoulder pain where I had difficulty using my arm. Pain would drive me crazy. It was hurting at night. I didn't know what to do. I was positive it was my shoulder. And then one day in a postgraduate course, I realized that my shoulder problem has to do with my neck positioning. I did certain repeated exercises for my neck, and my shoulder got better. But what I found out was that if I sat on my computer and I put my laptop on my coffee table and I was staring with my head protruded forward, all of a sudden I will get difficulty using my left shoulder. If I looked at my phone for a prolonged period of time, my shoulder would bother me. So I realized my posture has so much to do with the production of my pain. Here's the problem. Raise your hand, please, if your mom, dad, grandma, or grandpa asked you to sit straight when you were young. Mm. Now, be honest. How long have you maintained this? Three minutes? Five minutes? Grandma walked into the room, you sat straight. Grandma left, you went here. We don't see people maintaining upright posture. Holding yourself with an upright posture is the same as asking someone to go and run a marathon. You can't just go and run a marathon. You've got to build endurance to be able to do that. You've got to train, you've got to rest, you've got to train, you've got to rest. When we train our biceps, we curl, we rest, we curl, we rest. We don't just hold the dumbbell and hope for the muscle to develop. So we can't ask our back musculature to isometrically hold us in this position. But there's a solution for it. There's a solution that will take you about three months if you practice a specific movement and you integrate that movement into your day. And that solution was invented by an amazing gentleman who's not with us anymore. But he is looking down from the heaven right now, and he has touched my career. He helped me so much. 
He helped millions of people around the world. That person is called Robin McKenzie. And Robin McKenzie lived his whole life in New Zealand and shared his findings all over the world. And Robin said one thing. If there is one thing that will benefit more people in one hit across the world to avoid mechanical back, mechanical neck pain, it will be to ensure that everyone sits properly. Robin was voted the most influential clinician in orthopedic physical therapy in, in the United States. He was one of the giants in the world of physical therapy. And he is thrilled that I'm here on this stage sharing one of his many discoveries with you. But before we get to that secretive movement, that amazing movement that he discovered, please everyone close your eyes right now and visualize yourself as an 80 or 90 year old person. How do you see yourself walking down the street? You're leaving your house and you're walking down the street or into your favorite grocery store. In what posture do you see yourself? Please open your eyes. Do you see yourself pushing a walker or are you walking elegantly down the street? Would you like to age with the ability to get up from a chair with no stiffness in your back? Or do you want to get up and walk yourself back up? See, the more we get stuck in this position, the harder it is as we age to maintain this upright posture. And so now, guys, it is time to move. Everyone, please scoot forward in your chair. Do not let the back of your chair touch you. Beautiful. Go ahead and slouch. Keep looking forward at me, please. Letter C, remember, C4, catastrophe, excellent. Very slowly and gently raise yourself up by accentuating your lower back forward and at the top of the motion, retract your head backward. Think of someone that ate a lot of garlic is coming to kiss you. <laughs> Hold it for a few seconds and now let go back, relax to that zero percent. Think of this as the zero percent. And raise yourself slowly all the way to 100 percent erect, retract your head, hold it for a few seconds and let go. And as you do this motion, there's a few things that are occurring in your body right now. First of all, your brain is learning to understand what poor posture is and what good posture is, or what proper, elegant posture is. That's one thing. You're also starting to train your postural muscles in your back. You load them and you give them a break. So please don't ask your kids to sit straight. Teach them this movement. Give them the ability to load their musculature and give them a break. Same concept as a bicep curl. We got to rest as we do it. Ten repetitions, guys. Five sets a day. And as you move to the extreme of the good, you will notice that the stiffness you may develop in your lower back is starting to loosen up. It may be painful for a few of you, but hurt does not necessarily mean harm. Often as, often as you move further into this position, you will notice that that stiffness disappears. And so accentuate to the extreme of the good, hold it for a few seconds, let go. Now you don't have to sit at 100% erect posture. After doing 10 repetitions, use a lumbar roll, use a jacket, water bottle, whatever you can find to lock your lower back in this position. Some of you already are doing it in your car. If you notice in the car seat, there's a button. As you push it, it inflates that lower uh, lumbar support in your car. And so you can also sit at 50%. You can go to 20%. You can go back to 80%. Do not hang out in this position for a prolonged period of time. Robin called this position the kiss of death, he would say. You're pulling yourself apart. Stop doing it. So motivation to age as an elegant lady, as an elegant gentleman is wonderful, but you also need to have discipline. And when we're done today, please take your phone, plug it in. If you're awake about 15 hours a day, every three hours, put a reminder. Ding, practice 10 repetitions of the zero to 100%. 
but make sure when you plug it into your phone, you don't do this. <laughs> Stop doing it. This is illegal. Hold the phone at eye level. Use your thumbs to type. I made a decision long time ago. I'm 51. I will not age like the letter C. So please repeat after me three times. I will not age like the letter C. I will not age like the letter C. I will not age like the letter C. Thank you very much. <laughs>